Hey, I'm Marigo. I'm gonna show you how to make a custom slicing preset so that when you slice a sample to a new MIDI track, it comes through uh, with all the samples in one shot mode. I'm sure there are some other videos on this already because it's not a new feature, but I was just making one for myself and thought I would share it with you all. Okay, so I've got a cool trumpet sample here. And I wanna make this into an instrument that I can play on my push three over here. So I'm gonna right click and select slice to new MIDI track. Let's slice it uh, quarter notes and we'll just hit okay. So when we do this by default, our slices come in in classic mode. So you can he see here the different modes. So if I hold it down here, you can hear it's repeating over and over again for as long as I hold down the pad. Sometimes when I'm doing this, I actually want things to be in one shot mode, meaning if I hit the pad once, it'll play the full slice through. But as far as I am aware, there, one of the existing presets, it, it doesn't do that. So we have to make our own slicing preset where we can select um, our one shot option. So I'm going to load a empty drum rack, an empty drum rack onto my first MIDI track and we're going to pull a simpler onto C1, the first pad right there, and we're gonna change it to one shot. Now, um, I like to map some of my parameters to the macros here um, so that I have some fun options for manipulating my samples once I've um, sliced to a new MIDI, uh, MIDI track. We can do it very simply just by right clicking on any parameter that we'd like to map and choosing the macro. So I'm gonna go with first my filter frequency. Uh, fun trick here, if we change the type of filter, we may get a drive option. We can map that to macro two. Uh, let's do our fade in, our fade out our transposition, and maybe the volume. There we go, so we've got six macros here. I can even go a little step further and just get rid of the two that I'm not using. So now we've just got um, the six here. I like to color mine. I'm gonna open up the chain list right here and the ins and outs as well right below that. And I'm gonna set the choke to group one. That way when I hit a, like another pad, um, when I'm playing this instrument, it will stop the previous sound, right? It'll choke the previous sound. So I'm not getting a bunch of like um, overlapping samples. And then let's go ahead and close those out. Hit the device button so that all we're seeing here is our macros and our drum rack. And then we're going to rename the device and we can call this a one shot slicer. Go to your user library defaults slicing and then you'll just drag and drop it here okay, you can see i already have a one shot slicer because i just made this so now if i go back to my trumpet sample and i right click slice to new midi track let's maybe go with half notes just so it's really obvious um so now under slicing presets we sh we see the one shot slicer and then i'm gonna hit okay Okay, so by default, when we do that function, slice to new MIDI track, we get a new track with all of our slices and a clip with all of them uh, just played one right after the other. So I'm just gonna delete that clip. And now let's check it out. Okay, then we can play a little beat with it if we want here. And then the other cool thing we've got here about how we set it up, if you do the macros, now you have the option to um, do a bunch of cool stuff to your sample. So taking the filter, I can transpose the whole thing. I can make it more fade in. That filter drive. This one too, I did the panning and the volume. Oh, that's how you make your own custom slicing preset. Hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Ableton tips and tricks here.